Well, I'm kind of back in a corner here with my Husky seven and a half horse two stage compressor. And it seems there's always questions coming up about the start unit on the uh, compressors. So we're going to try to go over it using video instead of still pictures with uh, paint with markings on them. First thing I've done is I came over here and I made sure that the circuit breaker was tripped off, which it is. And then back over here at the starter, we have two wires, this black one and this red one, coming in and supplying the two terminals in the front here. And directly behind the two terminals in the front are two spades. This one I have my finger on and this one that has the wire connected to it. And then over here you have the same thing. You have a wire connected to one with a connector. And then there's another one right here behind it. These four spades are part of the incoming hot wire connection. Further back behind that you have two more spades. This one here with a, which actually has a screw put through it. And then another one back here. They're a silver color. And those are the two for the coil that operates the uh, starter unit. And the coil actually moves around in there. You can, you can see it wiggle around when I push, push against it with my fingers. Down here on the left is the heat element, which simulates the heat created by the motor. So it has to be sized to match the motor. As, as the load increases, it gets hotter and hotter, and if it trips, it'll interrupt the circuit to the coil and shut the motor off. Down at the bottom, on the, this side, we have no, no heater. You only need a heater on one side on single phase. So we have no heater, we just have a copper strip going straight through. And on the bottom, we have a red wire and a blue wire that go to our motor. These two supply the, uh, the motor circuit into this box up on top on the motor. So the, I guess the order of power here if we want to follow things around is let's follow our black wire right here into the terminal on top and then from the back side of that terminal off one of the spades is a small red wire which we follow around and it runs off and goes to the pressure switch. It's one of these two wires here. And then from the pressure switch we come back with another red wire back through the conduit and that pressure switch wire lands on the one of the coil terminals. It really doesn't matter which coil terminal you land on. The coil is wired completely independent of everything else. It just has two terminals by itself. Then off the other hot wire, we have another hot wire coming in, the red one right here. And then off the back side of that, we have a terminal here with a wire that runs down and kind of disappears behind the starter, but ends up at one of two terminals down here on the bottom. There's, there's one terminal, and I believe it's the other terminal here is the one that, that the uh, uh, wire I just pointed out comes down and, and connects to. Off the other one of these terminals, these are the two terminals for the heating element. Off the other one of those terminals, the wire comes up, runs around, comes up to the other terminal on the starter, or on the uh, coil and makes the circuit. And then of course our green wire is tied, is grounded to the to the ground points on the box. We don't we aren't really worried about that. It's supposed they're all supposed to be grounded. And that's your complete circuit for the uh, 240 volt uh, single phase uh, square D starter for a uh, air compressor.